Well, uh, it's good to be back. You know, it's always uh, it's always interesting year to year, uh, team to team, how your team responds around the holidays. Uh, you learn a lot, of, I think, about your group during the holidays, uh, going into Christmas, coming out of Christmas, uh, the energy, and uh, so. We showed some signs of uh, rust, and our energy level wasn't uh, what it has been. I think as a team, one of the things I've come to expect and admire about the group is that we've been a pretty high-energy group as a team. And, uh, you know, as a coach, you like, I mean, if you could choose one thing to expect and feel pretty confident about, that's one of the things you'd like to have. And, and we didn't necessarily have that spark. Uh, today, uh, but we did do some good things offensively. We shared the ball. We had 21 assists, um, which is a good sign for our team. And so I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, Middle Georgia's got a good team and a good program, and the game started out pretty much the way we had expected it would start out if we came out with a lack of energy, that, uh, that they would capitalize on whatever mistakes we might make due to a lack of energy. And they did just that, and they created a, a, a game there for, for a bit, and uh, we snapped out of it. We picked up our defensive energy. We turned them over a little bit. We converted. We made some shots, and, uh, and we wound up getting some separation. And uh, I wanted to see us get better, and we got better in some areas. We were able to do some things execution-wise that were good, and uh, we are still very much a work in progress, obviously. Held him without a three-pointer in the entire contest. Have you ever been involved in a contest like that? And what does that say about the defensive effort of the team, especially on the perimeter? Um, I didn't realize that until you just said it, Yeah. Um, which is good. And we've obviously done a good job on the year. Um, it's not because of something special that I'm doing or saying. Um, it is a credit to our guys. We do work on contesting shots. We talk a lot about shot contests. Um, I'm not so sure they didn't have some uncontested looks, but uh, I do believe that when you're playing a, a, a team uh, that you're expected to be, the way luck can come into the equation is the three-point line. It can change the game. So obviously uh, guarding the three-point line helped us in that regard. Travis, you had a nice night for your career high in points, rebounds, and assists. Yeah, proud of him. The nine rebounds. You know, he stuck his nose in there and got some boards. I mean, we we gave up 19 offensive rebounds. Uh, and that, you know, a lot of times you, you would attribute that to size or, you know, the teams got it. But it, it was really about the energy. We started the game with that. You know, the, the vast majority, the first 11 of those offensive rebounds took place in the first part of the first half. And just... Just not alert, not on edge. We, we use that phrase a lot, being on edge. We weren't on edge. And uh, they forced us to get on edge because they created a, a really competitive situation for us. And maybe, maybe that's good for us. Coach, um, Josh Linder, he seemed to have two big dunks that came into the game. And that, those two seemed to energize the team. So how much do you rely on your bench to really give your team energy and really motivate them you know, to play? Yeah, we expect all of those guys to play with, with high energy. Uh, Jalen, Joe, Josh, Chris, we need those guys to come in and, and play with a motor. Uh, you know, Josh had one offensive rebound in the game. I'd like to see Josh be more effective on the glass, particularly in a game like that. You know, for those guys to come in and get 19 offensive rebounds and for us to only have 13 and for him to only have one is a little disappointing. I'd like to see Josh be, do a better job on the offensive glass. And, we got to get better our bigs at just when they do rebound the ball or they get a pass in the lane, being stronger with the basketball, getting the ball knocked out of our hands too much. And we just got to get we got to get better at some of those things around the basket. End of the calendar year is a few days away. Where do you assess the team right now, wrapping up non-conference play, and now you're going to get into the heart of Sun Belt conference play? Where do you see the team just right now? Work in progress, you know. You know, there's a reason why coaches say one game at a time because it's really the only way you can play them, right? And um, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna be playing a team 
Thursday that, uh, is that game Thursday? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's playing probably as good a basketball, if not the best basketball in the conference. And I, know the, I know the coach, he's a really good coach, he does a great job. So we got quite a challenge on our hands going on the road on Thursday against a really good team. Yeah, just what, just so, just what do you, what kind of message do you give to Kane, Corey, Justin, Damon? Because yeah, they seem to, sh they shot the ball very well today. They shot from three to three. And just yeah, what, what kind of message did you give those four guys before they went out there? Well, the message for those guys, particularly after the game, was I need those guys to, to be leaders. You know, I need those guys to, to be in charge of our collective body language, our energy, our approach. Our communication. I need those guys to grow and do a better job taking on and embracing the responsibility that they have as the leaders of the team. And they all have prominent roles. They play significant minutes. And I want them to take the responsibility that comes with that and embrace it. And um, so that's, that's what I talk about with those guys.